All right. We're getting both of them in. Get over here. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> All right. So what we're doing right now is we are on the trek. I was not picking my nose. I was itching it. <laughs> we right now we're on the trek to just walk behind around the side. It's Wednesday, so it's church. So we have church groups, youth group playing, and the church right across. Scoot you over a little bit, you're bumping into me. Literally. <laughs> so what we're doing right now is we are coming to a tree that looks like it has got cut down because it is dead. Wanna add your two cents in there, Ray? Uh, yes. Um. Like, sometimes we have, not very much, but sometimes when the trees get too tall, sometimes the park services here will cut down so much of the tree to keep it still growing, but so it doesn't fall over and hurt the people walking and jogging or doing whatever. Mm -hmm. Right, and check this out. Move. Look at that. That's woods. That's actually a tiny forest. Isn't that right? Yeah. You're lagging. Yeah. I'm coming. <laughs> so right, what we have here is you can't see until I flip it, but I don't know if you can see it or not. The pink ribbon. What the pink ribbon is, is for breast cancer. We Every year we have a Susan B. or Susan G. Komen breast cancer walk. It's a race for the cure, basically. But one of the things that we like is this. We always notice it every time we go on a walk. Somebody has carved their initials into a tree. I don't know how long that's been there for. Do you? Me neither. In a random trash can to save the planet. Some random rocks. Mm -hmm. Just a typical nature hike, nature walk. We'll do running later, but we won't be able to film that part just for the simple fact is Ravencroft uh, might break. Just it'll fall out of either his hand or my hand. <laughs> Possibly mine. Check this out. It's kind of hard to do. Walk slow. Walk slow. I don't know if you can see it. Beaver or a muskrat or something along the river. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if you can get it. It'd be better if the camera wasn't turned. But there's literally a tiny itty bitty beaver. Or muskrat or something. Gopher, whatever. Gliding along the water. Sasam. That's Sasam. If I don't sip in goose poop, we can get back on the track. There is literally goose poop everywhere. And everywhere. That, and that is because you do realize cameras panned on me. Anyway. Do what you're doing. Anyway, like I was saying, the reason why there's so much goose poop that we're walking into is because there's a flock of Canadian geese that comes up to our city from the great white north, Canada. And that's why we are 
privileged to walk in their bathroom. So I'll let J uh, Hartley Hughes take it over and she can tell you a little bit more about our city that we live in. That was a close one. I about beat him. So what we're doing right now, like I said, we're on a nature walk. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff around here. Not in this particular area, but downtown. It's actually a historic district down in that area. And I just stepped in Goose Crap again. And there's ducks out on the water and fish flopping. Somebody on the truck. Okay, so it just randomly got dark in this little area because it's so shady. Um, well known facts about this town. We are called Land of Rippling Waters, according to old Native American Chief Wapolo. There's really not much to say in this long segment because we're going on almost seven minutes. So we could go for another segment in another time. So I'm signing off. Are you? Peace. I'm signing off too. So we will stay tuned and we will give you more of our city and, and the life of Hughes and Ravencroft.